Hey guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. I don't have a Pokemon trainer hat like the one Ash has, but I do have this old Pokemon hat that I bought in high school, and it has the Kanto starters along with Pikachu. Today I will be showing you some time lapses of the three Kanto starter Pokemon, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle that I made using all of these lovely mini beads that you see behind me. I don't know if you can tell which starter Pokemon is my favorite. Right I was inspired to make some Pokemon because I got some Pokemon cards for Christmas that came in this really cool Pokeball tin. I really wish they made these back when I was a child so that I could use this as a prop for a really cool costume. Most of you probably don't know this, but when I first got interested in making YouTube videos, I started by making Pokemon card openings and toy unboxings on another channel. So that was before I started making Perler Beat videos. It was a lot of fun back then and hopefully you stay till the end to check out all the cards that I got. Here is the beautiful Pokeball tin with three packs of TCG cards in here. So let's see what we have. There's a coin. It's Lugia. Ooh. These are pretty old actually. These are from XY Breakpoint, XY Primal Clash, and Sun and Moon. So this was quite a while ago. I will open one pack after I finish each Pokemon. So let's start with Bulbasaur. These are the colors I'll be using, and if you're looking for some Art Cow mini beads or regular beads, you can check out the links in my description and make sure to use code CutieCrafts for a discount on the Art Cow beads website. As well, I will leave a link in the description to the Spriters resource, which is where I found the sprite patterns for Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. To fuse the beads together, I'll be using the masking tape method where I cover up all of the beads on the board, making sure none of them fall over in the process. Flip the pegboard over and gently remove the tape and beads from the pegboard. I wanted one of the sides to have a shiny finish, so I'm using ironing film and my iron is on the lowest heat setting, which is the silk setting. Since I keep the heat setting really low just to be safe, it took around 3-4 to four minutes to iron just one side. Once I see all the beads are fused together, I can flip Bulbasaur over to the other side and gently remove the tape. I think this looks better with a matte finish, so I'm just going in with my regular ironing paper or parchment paper with the same heat setting and ironing for 3-4 to four minutes just like with the other side. With both sides fused, I like to keep a heavy book on top of it as it cools so that it stays flat. 
Bulbasaur is all done now. You can see the front side has a matte finish, while the other side has a shiny finish. Which style do you think looks better? It's been quite a long time since I've opened Pokemon cards. I feel like the last time I opened a pack was probably 2015 or 2016. Quite a long time ago. I just stopped buying them at some point, but I really missed opening these cards up and seeing if I can get any rares or some really shiny cards. I think I had Primal Break and, oh, I know, Primal Clash and Break Point packs before. But let's see. Hopefully, we get something interesting in here. I also try to save like the the foil and then I put them in a binder just to display the nice art on it. All right, so if any of you guys collect the online TCG stuff, oops, here is the code if you want that. Now, what was the trick again? One, two, three, and then, okay, let's see what kind of cards we got. We have Slowbro, Frogadier, oh wow, this brings me way back, Lapras, Nummel, Esper, Growlithe, Pancham, Petalil, a Max Elixir Trainer card. Oh no, it was blurry, okay. Did you guys see it? So I got Petalil. Wait. So I got Petalil, Pancham, Growlithe, Esper, Nummel, Lapras, Frogadier, and Slowbro before that. All right, oops. I'll make sure it doesn't go out of focus next time. So Max Elixir trainer card and... Whoa! Scissor EX. That is a nice pull, guys. Whoa! Our first booster pack. And we got this awesome... Scissor EX. It's not a full art, but it is one beautiful card. If my camera would just focus properly next time, I would have captured it much nicer. But yeah, that is our first pack of Pokemon cards. And let's get on with our second Pokemon. All right, trainers, our next Pokemon is Charmander. And these are all the colors I used. By the way, I should mention that each of these Pokemon sprites takes over an hour to make. I would say it took me one to two hours, maybe even three hours, but that's only because I have to film it, so it may have been a bit longer for me. Just want to warn you guys that you'll require lots of patience when making these, but in the end, it will be all worth it. On the flame that's on Charmander's tail, some of the beads aren't actually touching any other beads. So the great thing about the masking tape method is that you can just go in with your tweezers and move the beads closer to each other. And then you'll make sure that all of these beads will be fused together. Next, we have our XY Primal Clash pack with this really cool looking Aggron on the front. Is this, oh, this is a Mega Aggron, I think. I don't remember how it goes anymore, but uh, yeah, I think in the XY era, there was Mega Pokemon. So this is Mega Aggron on this Primal Clash booster pack. Let's see, hopefully 
the cards stay focused this time. But I'm already really happy with the pull that we got in the first one. Ugh. Come on, let's open you up. Here is the code for any of you guys who collect the stuff online. Then, one, two, three. Get all the commons in the front first. And then, let's see. We got, focus please, please, just focus. All right, we got Mag Cargo, Kakuna, Wish Cash, Spinda, Mudkip. I think I already have this card. Chinchu, Solrock, Clamperl, a Sphiel Hollow, and the rare is. Ooh, a Rhyperior. It's not a shiny one, but that's pretty cool too. I'm already happy with this beautiful scissor. EX and I just realized that I got this scissor from this pack which has a mega scissor right at the front so that's pretty cool and we have one more TCG pack coming up after our last Pokemon Squirtle. Here are all the colors to make my favorite little turtle. Squirtle is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time and definitely my favorite Pokemon from the Kanto region. Let me know in the comments below which team you're on. Team Squirtle, Team Charmander, or Team Bulbasaur. This is the same tape that I used to iron Bulbasaur and Charmander, so don't throw it away after only one use. Try to reuse it. Now my little Squirtle is all done, and I actually changed up the tail design a bit when I was making this, so we are now done making all three of our Kanto starters. The last pack for this video is a Sun and Moon Booster Pack. I think this was the last time I played Pokemon on the Nintendo 3DS. I had Litten as my starter Pokemon, but I never finished the game, so I don't really know a lot of the Pokemon from Sun and Moon. Hopefully, some are recognizable. I tried to keep up with Pokemon until like 2017, but then after that, I haven't really been following and the new era generation 8 i know none of the pokemon other than the starters all right last pack of the day who knows maybe we'll get a really cool one here so oh that's this is already cool it's a dragonair which evolves into dragonite that's a cool pokemon too trainer Ilima? I've never heard of this person. Ooh, Hypno! Really cool art. I really like that. And then Zubat. Oh, these aren't the new. Oh, Poplio! Stuffle. There's still some older Pokemon in here, of course. Wingle. Dratini. Oh, perfectly goes with the Dragonair. Ooh, a Beware Hollow, and then the rare, 
Oh wait, I think I made a mistake. This is the rarest. Wait, it is. This is mass crane. And then, oh, I got an extra energy. All right, guys, so that is 30 new, actually, no, 31 new Pokemon cards that I'll be adding to my collection. This is my latest Pokemon card portfolio thingy. You can tell when I stopped buying cards because this is generation six. So I chose Froakie, by the way. And um, yeah, I tried to just collect all the starters and their evolutions in here and let me see where I, can I store this guy um yeah see they have some really cool ex cards from this time and i only have a houndoom ex from one of my previous pulls his new home all right keep it nice and safe and let me know if you guys like watching me opening up some Pokemon cards. I have some more in some other Pokeballs. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me open up some Pokemon cards and also making the mini beat sprites of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. As you can see, they are not very big, they're the perfect little size, but since I made them with mini beads, you get all that detail and they look fantastic. I just need to find a place to put them like I have to do with all my other bead sprites. I also have an ultra ball and dive ball that's just like this Pokeball, so I'm thinking I should make some of the other starter Pokemon as well, but I'm not sure which regions to choose. I definitely wanna make the Sinnoh starter Pokemon one day because that's the region that I first started playing Pokemon in. I got Pokemon Pearl as my first Pokemon game. And this video was really fun to make. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, if you are new and make sure to turn on your notifications so that you'll be updated on my latest videos and I will see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye!